Next, we have different types of drawing. First, we'll talk about the general drawings. See, first is a concept drawing or a tender drawing, which is prepared at the very initial stage of the project. Assume that you are the client and you are going to approach to whom? Say, main consultant or an architect. So, the main consultant or the architect will prepare very initial stage drawing that is called concept drawing or a tender drawing. Concept drawing we are calling as per technically it's a concept drawing. Tender drawing we are calling because this drawing is going to be submitted from the main consultant to the to the to the main contractor or uh, yeah to the main contractor or it can be for a small project to the design consultant. So for them it's a tender drawing because that is going to be a tender for for them now. So technically it's a concept drawing, but uh, for process point of view we can call it a tender drawing. So it's a very initial stage. You will not find the detail in that. You will find just a, just a basic information. Next, based on that concept drawing, the design consultant, you see, the design consultant or it may submit to the main contractor. Again, the main contractor will provide this concept drawing, nothing but tender drawing to the design, design consultant who will prepare what design drawings. So design drawing, nothing but you'll find uh, more details in that compared with the concept drawing. Concept drawing just the initial, initial stage, very initial stage. But design drawing in that you'll find the details. But not the complete details which is required to, uh, to complete the work on site. So you may find say 70% information in the design drawing. Again in the design drawing you'll find the base drawing as well as the detail drawing. Base drawing means you'll find the single line drawings. Detail drawing with the double line drawing almost the information but not 100% not the complete. For a small project, you can consider the base drawing or detail drawing as same. But for big project, we require more detailing. So you need to go for a separate drawings. One is a base drawing and detail drawing, etc. Okay. Again, by the, by the consultant. Next, based on that, the contacting company generally will prepare this shop drawing. Mm -hmm. Again, here contacting means I'm not talking about the main contacting. I'm talking about the subcontracting company. At this level, if you're a beginner, you may get the confusion between all these terms, but don't worry. Let me complete this. Again, we'll discuss with more detail about this process. At this level, I'm not just going in, in detail to avoid confusion. Just try to understand the terms and terminology. So shop drawing will prepare by home. Generally in actual practice by this online. Contractor. Yes, contractor. Because contractor is responsible for the installation. And again, you see, I'm not talking about the main contractor who is taking the overall responsibility for design and, uh, and the build. Here, I'm talking about a subcontractor, which who is taking care for the HVAC site. Okay. Again, you will find the separate subcontractor for the different services. Again, within the services also, you may find the further con further subcontractors, like a separate contractor for ducting site, separate for uh, piping site, welders, etc. So the for big project, uh, the process is very lengthy. But for a small project, one contractor will, will manage all these things. So remember, the shop drawing is a detailed drawing or it's an updated drawing of a design drawing, which is required for what? For execution, for installation on site. Or we can call, say, the installation drawing. Shop drawing, technically, we used to call shop drawing. You can call the installation drawing, which is required for installation point of view, and that you'll find the details for the hangers, the, almost all the details which is required for installation. Again, in the design drawing, you see detail, detail uh, DLD, you'll find say 80, 70 to 80 percent. But this is not completely. And for big project, the work is going to start on site with the with the detail drawing, with the design detail drawing only, because uh, preparing shop drawing will take time. So almost say say 60 to 70 percent is going to be uh, the work is going to going to uh, complete uh, for big project with the with the design drawing. Parallelly, the shop drawing contracting company will prepare, and uh, the final stage they are using the shop drawing. I'm I'm talking about for big project for small project directly with the detailed design drawing they can execute the job. Okay. Next, at the end you'll find the as well drawing. So what is as well drawing? You see, in short, I can say the updated shop drawing is a as well drawing based on the actual, actual, in, uh, actual, actual work done or actual installation or actual execution. Because in actual practice, you know, because of the services, because of some other reasons, you may find some changes. If the the hundred percent the work is not going to happen as per the shop drawing. Definitely, you'll find some changes. At least five to ten percent changes. Because we are talking about the services and we are not installing only one HV service in, 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 in the building. No? We have the other service. Again, in HVC also, we have a different systems like piping, ducting, etc. So enough clearance is required. 
So you may find some uh, some changes because of coordination issues, because of some change in the design, change in the requirement, or sometime because of authority uh, conditions, etc. So that's the reason uh, the work is going to happen on site based on the shop drawing. But after completing the work, if any changes uh, when compare with the shop drawing, that that is going to update in the in the shop drawing. So the updated shop drawing, as per the actual completion of work, that drawing is called as built drawing. As built. The name will give you the idea as built how you built based on that will do them will will update the shop drawing and 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 why the need of the shop drawing because the work is already done why the need of this as built drawing the maintenance purpose exactly no. yes for you see for the billing final bill and for maintenance even for final bill also the actual length of the pipe the metal use etc that is going to extract with the actual conditions now so to prepare the final bill as well as next next we have uh architectural drawing and different services drawing and as an engineer you should have the knowledge of this because without knowing or without extracting the information from the architectural drawing we cannot think to start to deal with any service and in detail we'll learn how to read this architectural drawing in building survey at this level just i'm giving the list of this uh, drawings so in architectural side also you'll find the detailed drawing for the toilet kitchen staircase wall section doors and windows so this two drawing is important for us as a hvc engineer because this wall section will help you to get or to extract the metal use in wall construction apart from this you'll find uh, we require this metal use for the slab or for other structure member and why the and even these doors and windows metal also required and why this metal is required if you are you can really mechanical engineers can relate this to find the u value overall coefficient of heat transfer because the actual heat gain is uh, depend on the u value and if you don't know about the u value don't worry in uh, load calculation we'll talk about this uh, finding u value based on the r value it means resistance uh, thermal resistance of the metal so this drawing is important next furniture layout so why the need of furniture layout for a hvc engineer to sell on olex so uh, mm -hmm. depend on your uh, value sir Wouldn't... Uh, you see no no you see the furniture will not generate the heat furniture layout is required to extract the number of people and the people generate the heat okay remember this point at the time of load calculation i'll give you a, the note also don't worry at this level just remember this layout also required next false ceiling layout not only for mechanical for hvac we required for other services because all this false uh, ceiling layout means yeah. the the false ceiling this uh, layer false ceiling layout in that you'll find uh, you may find a step false ceiling you may find the plane false ceiling you may find uh, the grid false ceiling mm. so accordingly we can place the a terminals now false ceiling yes. ceiling slab i'm not talking about the ceiling i'm talking about false ceiling Okay, I believe everyone know what is false selling because nowadays is common, na? even in small uh, flats also you'll find the false selling. But don't worry, if, if anyone don't know, we will discuss the different types of false selling at the time of uh, dealing with the design. Next, tiles layout for the flowing. And this is not required. Name, names and legend, okay. I forget about this. But these are the types of drawing for architecture side. Apart from this, you may find uh, some more also, but I have listed a few. In that, uh, you see this wall section, this furniture. Uh, apart from this, you'll find the different plan like... Uh, floor plan section elevation etc which is also required and we'll learn how to read this in detail because extracting the information you should know how to read this architecture layout so in building survey uh, point one only we'll discuss uh, in detail next structural drawings again notes and legend foundation plan beams and column and again beams and column is required for a coordination point of view because you see ducts remember that we cannot run the duct through beams and column Yes, sir. Uh, we can run the duct through the slab again for that also we need to coordinate at the initial stage at the design stage with the with the structure engineer later we cannot do the big openings in the in the in the slab also because uh, that will affect to the uh, what load of uh, the building because structure uh, means load now we cannot play with that uh, with the structure members next detail drawing footings beams column waterproofing section drawing etc just have given the list for information but uh, beams and column and uh, this this is required for coordination to run the ducts pipe etc next electrical drawings again that uh, notes and legend site layout lighting layout this lighting layout is required at the time of placing the a terminals uh, to un to get the idea or uh, to understand the location of light fixtures because where the if the light fixture if the if the area some area occupied by the light fixture in the false ceiling means we cannot use that now so this lighting layout is required next power layout for appliances then power layout for hvc point of view because we are providing the equipment uh, information to the electric people so that they can calculate the hvc or uh, in short i can say mechanical equipment loads hvc plumbing and firefighting next fire alarm security security layouts 
etc so just list given you can go through once next if you talk about mechanical uh under this you'll find the h uh, this fire fighting mm, different systems layout like sprinkler system hose reel hydrants etc next hvac this is important because in this training program we are talking about the hvc drawing now anyhow you'll get the chance to deal with uh, this layout in detail even in uh, drafting uh, video course also you see notes and legends you'll find the abbreviation notes legends etc in this drawing next side working plan so that if it is a district cooling uh, we can the pipe is going to enter from outside to inside so for that side development plan is required and what is side development plan i'll show you at the time of reading our crystal layout next equipment layout mm, separate layout for the equipment in that you'll find the equipment like ahu fcu or exhaust equipments etc mm, hot chillers mm, you'll find the separate layout and you'll find the separate layout for equipment schedule also in that you'll find the technical this uh, uh what i can say this uh, high class or uh high technical information in that about the equipment selection so you'll find equipment schedule layout also in that in that you'll find the text it's not a drawing but uh, that again you'll find it in the layout form or in the drawing form but it's not actually a drawing you'll find the, uh, this uh, text information next a terminal layout at the time uh, again means a for a terminals then ducting layout then uh, we require the piping layout insulation uh, separate because uh, uh, you will find a separate subcontractor for insulation next refrigerant piping layout in case of dx system and in case of this uh, especially for this uh, vr system also next chill water piping this also important for chillers find the separate uh, drawings for the chill water in that you will find the complete uh, piping for the chill water again the installation detail drawings detail drawing for installing the ahu installing the fahu installing the chiller and uh, other equipments and the uh, duct installation pipe installation detail drawing which is required uh, on site at the time of execution we'll learn how to read all this schematic drawing in that you'll find uh, the connection uh, between this uh, ahu uh, chiller or this ducting etc okay so we'll discuss all this this is just a list to get the idea similarly you'll find the plumbing drawings you can find the list plumbing is divided into water side and drainage side so you'll find the hot water cold water isometric layout this is important because in plumbing isometric even in hvc on fire fitting also as per the requirement uh, sometimes we require asymmetric drawing but uh, especially for plumbing asymmetric drawings are required next drainage system layout etc okay so this is the list and just go through once as the engineer should have uh, the idea of, uh, apart from uh, idea about the other services apart from this hvc if you're dealing with the hv service mm -hmm.